sequel serves just one purpose, and that is to be a big, giant, huge villa. If it was on a sandwich, it would be egg mayo. <laughs> you just know that these young adult movies are just, they're going one way now. You just know how these young adult movies are gonna go. It's just all the same. First film, escape. Second film, a whole lot of running. Third film, revolution! <laughs> it really is the same old generic matter. Oh look, they're running again! We've seen it all before in The Hunger Games. Oh no, Divergent. Oh god, oh god. I mean Percy Jackson. Yeah, I could do this all day. So it is quite easy to say that this is a step up from the original, but that's only because of its large production value. The budget has been chucked into the apocalyptic setting and it looks fantastic. But I really am a sucker for the whole end of the world, doom and gloom. Look, most days now when watching a film, I feel like I'm spending my time criticizing the film certification. Yes, I'm an old fart. For a 12A, it is quite terrifying and goes to some quite dark places. Enough for me to want to keep the little ones away anyway. The only example without spoiling anything is the fact that these are supposed children and they are running around with one in the chamber. The fact that they are referred to as children for the majority of the film really infuriates me and at the same time baffles me. Some of these actors are a few more years away from hitting the 3-0. Most of them are my age. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I laugh at the thought of walking into a casting room stating, Hi, I'm here to play the 15 year old. So be prepared for a whole lot of running and a series of unfortunate events to an overbearing soundtrack. Maybe I'm just too old for this year. Please do subscribe and like the video. Leave a comment in the box below. Do you love or hate the Maze Runner series? And while you're at it, be sure to share the video with your friends. You can watch other videos of mine just by clicking right here. <laughs>